Let's do a whisk action, yeah? So we're going to, we are coming from compressed uh, position. Now you're going to rise up through your standing leg. You're going to compress into the hip and into the side of this standing leg. You're going to place the foot outside your body, and then you're going to deliver your weight to the foot. In this moment, I am lifted hip, and then at some point I choose to change the hip. Now, I will not give you a rule to say when that happens. It just happens uh, at the right time, okay? So it's not like a choo -choo or at that point. No, it will happen. It can go early, it can go late. It's up to you, okay? So we're going to go from bend knee. And uh, one, two. So two is here. Three, you have a reaction in the hip. It goes forward, but it also go into a pendulum. Three. And it also rotates the opposite way. Take the leg in. And you have a Latin cross now. You must feel the connection between your thighs. Like a Latin cross, yes? Reaction is now, the back leg will now straighten. And you will react into the hip. And that belongs to the next action. This was what I explained in the lecture, yeah? <clears throat> so, one more time. And uh, one, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, five. So you're still not there. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, uh, four, uh, five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six, seven. Okay. I'm a really bad boy because I'm adding extra sounds than the eight. Yeah? I have eight counts, and then I choose to make two extra. Yeah? They're here. One, two, three, a uh, uh, four, a uh, five, six. So I have uh. Don't try to make it, really, when you are dancing and thinking, uh, 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 uh. It's just an explanation of how things are, are working together. Ready, and one, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, stop. You are, again. Everybody was boom. <laughs> I have no idea. I saw a few. And one, two, three, uh, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four. Stop. You're hitting it. Four. This is, can you imagine? You want to hit something, but if you hit it at the wall, nothing left. I hit the same thing, zip! Ah. You see, there's no point hitting maximum because you have to stop. Zip. What can I do? I just have to fall, yeah? So make sure you have five or ten percent left. Zip. Do I look strong? Do I look stronger now? I look hard working, you know. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, yeah, four! Stop. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, yeah, four! Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, yeah, four! Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, super. Much better. Remember what I spoke about with the train. Basically, I'm hitting this four. We are stopping. We are celebrating. And then we do reaction. This is not reality. Yeah? Remember, I'm just telling you at this time, at this time, but really, it never stops. 
This is why it can look dynamic. And of course, if that foot is there, of course, straight away it can continue. Boom. Yes, so it has a, a, a fullness in the body. Is that clear? Let's do one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Thank you, guys. So now the exciting part starts. You have to teach each other. No, that was wrong. You're not teaching. You're giving feedback. So don't try to be a kind of a, I'm telling you what to do. No, no. You say, I feel this. I see this. I feel you just give a short feedback what you feel with that person. No emotions attached. It's OK. You can be positive. You can be constructive. Don't be critical, okay? Be respectful when we do this stuff. Normally in Denmark, we're quite good at this. We, the couples understand to, to keep respect. So I would like you to find the person next to you, not your own partner, anybody, and we'll do whist together. No, that was you. <laughs> yes. Hey, guys, look. Bogdan and I, we will do this movement together, so we'll do one, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, a four, a five, six. And just uh, do it a few times. Stop, speak. You were fantastic. You were did, 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 speak about, and we move on, okay? Not your own partner. Not your own partner. Your own partner, yes. Not a partner? Mutsi's sister, no? Yeah. Mutsi's sister meets a partner. Where do we have one? Okay, I have to dance with her. Yeah, two guys is cool. Doesn't matter. Girls together, boys together, doesn't matter. Ah, okay, fair enough. If you prefer girls, for me it's fine. Okay, go. I want you to do it in your own tempo. I will shut up. You will dance. You have a partner? Come to me. Go ahead. So. One, two, three, and four, and five. I cannot speak. Okay. Shh. I know you love to talk more. It's great you're having a party. I want you now to uh, thank you very much. New partner again. New partner. New partner. It's slow motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five, six. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five. One, two, three, a four, a five. Three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. A one, a two, three, a four, a five, six. I'm wrong. Not really. Yeah. Well, you can say technically yes. If I want to do it totally correct, I must not move the foot. Why does the foot move? In my case, yeah, because I simply do more movement in my body. So if I if I keep if I for in any sake want to keep that foot, I feel a bit small. Then you can say this is the nature of the step. So in order to do it correct and right, 
you must not move the foot. On the highest level of dancing, if that happens, it's a choice I have made, not because I don't know. Understand? So now there's some young ones. Be careful. Put your hands in your ears. Yeah. So we do one, two, three, or four. And if this, because of the driving from the back leg, replaces a bit forward, don't worry. Yeah. It feels a bit limited. Yeah. So uh, that was the whisk action, and uh, I would like to do the. Uh, stationary samba walk so we will all just do it by ourselves now spread out a bit so you can move so and please guys if there's any questions this is the time yeah so when i explain something i give you space put your hands up and i will uh, ask you your question when i'm ready yeah so bend knee your hip is lifted your back is, is lifted and it turned out. Now I do the pendulum action. And when I do the pendulum, then this front leg becomes my supporting leg. So basically, if I stand in this position, if I let go of my back foot, I will fall. Because I'm not on the front foot 100%. This is my big point when, you know, I see so many couples, they, they stand, they're ready, here, and what now? They cannot move. Because the lifted hip belongs to a delivery from the back leg. So you are 90% on the front, you're approximately here with your weight, and therefore if I let go of my back leg, I'll fall. Has nothing to do with body position. Your body position is still up, forward, and, and uh, vertical, yeah? So let's try that. You're behind here. Now you deliver the weight. And uh, one, two. Now you are bent. Your hip is not forward. Your hip is on its way. So when you have bent maximum, your hip is still on its way. So when you start straightening the knee, then the hip comes. So it's like a, a wave. Don't send both knee and hip together because that means that you will block your body. Boom, papa. You will go, zu, uh. So when the knee starts to come back into your leg, then your hip will continue and finish that uh, pelvic tilt. Okay? So we go. And, uh. One, two, it starts to come forward. Two, three, three, uh, turn, knee is straight. Your weight is now rolled to the heel. Why? Like standard, yeah? Yeah? So, two, uh, three, E, so you're back here. Now you have a rotated hip. You want now to rotate it uh, the other way, but you do not want to send the hip up. This is what I did, I said, zip! But now, you see, if your hip is already there, you have, you have nothing more to do. So try to delay the hip. If the hip is super delay, a little bit delay, medium, a little bit, for me it doesn't matter. As long as you don't send it out, yeah? So, one, two, three, uh, four, uh, uh, five, five, six, hip pendulum on seven, seven, eight, one, two, three, uh, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, uh, four, uh, five, six, 
seven, eight, one, two, three, a, uh, four, a, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. This resembles my first lesson in standard when I was eight years, maybe, where I had the training in ballroom. Balance. You know, why I did this was to understand my control of my legs. So we do this so slow that I can really make the speed and I can still use. So I'm training my muscles in the leg, in the body, to assist the balance through movement. And not just, you know, just hammer it. Yeah? You must find much more nuance if you want to be highest level. Let's try one more time. S any questions? Sorry. <laughs> Boom! Girls first. I, I wanted to ask about the entry of my kids. Like, uh, like I have opinion in Samba, I need, uh, like, always moving like eight, you know? Yes. Uh, if I'm doing stretch in the up, also I need to think like this, or just keep going back to eight, you know? Like eight, because that's natural. Yes. <laughs> Can I just say a little point on this? We all know that if I walk on the street or in any movement, it, my body is constructed in a way that there will be a release to a pendulum and there will be a rotation as to my, uh, the way I body, my body moves. That natural movement is exaggerated in our dancing. So I'm going to show people... I'm going to show that eight but it's not really an eight, it's a flat eight, because I cannot move as much forward as I can move back. Now, uh, people create the, some crazy thinking about this stuff, you know. It's natural stuff, and we exaggerate it, and we coordinate it. So yes, even though I only have a lift here, what is the reaction now? Boom. It, t it does not go, this would be totally unnatural. So allow the hip to react in a, uh, in a rotation, it's okay. So I'm not saying direct pendulum go back, no. So I, tr I think pendulum, reaction, but what happens at the end, it moves around because it has to. Can I just make a quick note on that? How many have heard the idea about the reverse eight, hands up. Reverse eight meaning I can do eight and then I can reverse it. How many, once again, hands up. Super. Guys, it's not possible. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm making a strong point it's absolutely ridiculous. Try yourself. Let's do eight. Now let's reverse it. Guys, it's a misunderstanding. It does not exist. If you try to force it to exist, you will break your hips you will look like a broken dancer. You will not function uh, correctly in your body. I will tell you why, or I don't really know why it's invented. I just know that it's a misunderstanding. Yes, the body rotates, but the hip doesn't go back to go forward, guys. It's, a, it's totally misunderstood. If somebody thinks, ah, oh, maybe it goes back. No, it goes pendulum and it settles. The foot swivels, but it's not a reverse eight. And you're not doing it that way because you, you reconstruct the body in a way that you cannot move. And then it looks fake. I'm doing eight that way. No, I'm doing a pendulum. And then at the end of that pendulum, I'm rotating the foot. Boom, 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 boom. It, it's not a reverse eight. Yeah? Some people said it uh, in a forward walk turn. Two, three, it's a reverse eight. Have you heard this? 
If not, good for you. Two, three. It is a lifted settlement. I can then choose to settle it, but it just turns. It does not reverse. Do I make myself very clear? Uh, don't try it at home, it's dangerous. You will break your legs. Okay, again. I think I made myself clear. Yeah. Okay. And uh, one, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, six, seven, eight. Super, guys. Let's go back to partner. Yes, sorry. You choose. It's a freedom, huh? I have no rules. Just don't do reverse aid. I will kill you. <laughs> sorry. It's funny. One, two, three. Uh, um, I choose to lift. I could also choose to keep it flat and then lift. It's depending when does it happen. You know, it just needs to be a chain of uh, movement. Yeah. Okay. Go together with a partner, hand to hand, and you will do stationary samba walk. How much weight do you take? Super. Okay. Um, we need to do this with music. Change partner. Music slow motion, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, a four. Need to straighten. One, two, three, a four. Oh, yes. Need to straighten the knee earlier. Yes. Very good, guys. A certain way or a certain habit. Now I'm trained this way. Now Peter comes in and he tells me, shit, no, 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 do it this way. Oh, I have to change my system. Now I'm not saying what is right and what is wrong. I'm talking about in my life as a dancer. I have one level, then I have to go to a new level, a new level, and a new level. If I have to go to a new level, I have to unlearn what I've just learned and learn something new. Agree? We are not just strengthening what we already know, we are changing it with something better. That's a habit that needs to be replaced with another habit, which is a better habit. Then after some time, that good habit needs to be replaced by an even better habit. And there we go, on and on. If you train the wrong way, you keep doing the same habit. You get the information. For some reason, you are not able to replace your old habit with a new habit because it keeps coming back to you. Shit, yes, I have to. Now, 10 years, people have told me that my head has to come back, and I'm still doing it. What's the matter with me? Agree? I had this for a couple of years. Every write-up I had from uh, dance competitions 
from uh, Dan's news or Peter has a round back looks like this, not good. I got a little tired of it. After four years, I heard the same comment. I thought I better do something about it because it was not that I didn't do an effort, I was trying, but for some reason, whoop, come back, feels better here. So what did I do? I practiced every hour of the day for changing this. When I woke up in the morning, <coughs> brought in my teeth, went to, at no point did I leave the fact that I was training this because apparently it was not enough for me to train it only when I danced because in my everyday habit, zip, coming back here again, yes, I'm having fun. So I had to really push myself and to be able to replace that habit with a new sensation of my body. This is how strong you need to be in order to improve. You need to put every effort, I've seen you, uh, in order to change. Question? Uh, three months. Every day. Every day. And then the next comp, <laughs> people, did, you saw, it was not that they celebrated with flags, <laughs> no? It was just the fact that they did not comment. <laughs> Now there was something else wrong with me, yeah? But not that, okay? Sorry? Yeah. New challenge, yes. Then it was my hip or my foot, it doesn't matter. Uh, point is, so there's something about the structure of body, you want to, to change that, you have to be really careful. Now what we are doing today is change of coordination, yeah? you are replacing a certain coordination with another coordination. And I will bet you, if you dance to normal music at any time the next three weeks, you will pop back into your old habit. 110% sure. So that means not that you are not allowed to dance to fast music in the next three weeks in order to implement this, but just to accept and understand that you, in order to implement it, you need to do it so slow that you will make no mistake. Because a mistake means that you're popping back to your old habit. Think about it. Some of you started, I put the slow music, and you started full speed in, in, in this one. And I'm thinking, no, you will do exactly. Maybe you're a little bit excited. Maybe your brain thinks, oh, no problem, I can do that. I'm super talented. No, no problem. Uh, no, you will not. Yes. You might be the most talented person in the world. You will not be able to change so quickly because your brain can simply not follow. So I just repeat myself to finish this uh, cl class. Do it so slow that you make no mistake. So when you implement, you make sure you implement. When you do model training, which is competitive practice, Make sure you do that. Don't mix it up. Do full on, yeah, you're going Monday, Tuesday, whatever. But before that, you have spent maybe three hours trying to implement a new movement. And when you try to do physical or whatever model training, you accept all your mistakes, all your bad habits, doesn't matter. Because it will slowly get there if you repeat it enough. You understand that? Because it's no good that you have a competition on Saturday and the whole week you're thinking about to improve your stationary samba walk and nothing else. That would be really bad for you. Okay? So hopefully, sorry, hopefully I've given you um, some food for thought, got a little bit idea about some coordination and then more important of all, uh, how to practice, how to implement. This is a big, uh, you can nearly say practice theory, which is a study on universities, how to make new movements and how to change people to the better. This is very important stuff, otherwise you will just keep doing what you're doing. And you know these couples, staying there, doing competition every week, having to keep the same, and they don't change. For a year, I see them the next year, I'm going, what the fuck, you're not getting better. This is not the point. The point is to constantly improve yourself. So, and then the reverse aid. Please forget that. 
Thank you very much, guys.